I introduce Dr. Parku. He is an associate professor in the Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences. He represents uh, Prince of Songla University, Thailand. He is a renowned expert in phytopharmacological or uh, phytomedical research. He has developed many innovative products, which has obtained uh, many international uh, awards. It's our privilege to have uh, such a wonderful person, a very positive person, to present his uh, scientific lecture in the title, Active Constituents Enhanced Extracts. A practice which can be used to develop novel phytopharmaceutical products. So with this brief introduction, on behalf of students, staff, and the management of Bapatla College of Pharmacy and Bapatla Educational Society, I heartily welcome Dr. Parkum to present his scientific lecture. Thank you. Dr. Parkum. Yes. Thank you very much. You can start. Thank you, Kumar, for your high introduction. Thank you. Uh, uh, good morning, everybody, and welcome to my lecture. The topic of my lecture today is active confluence extract, a practice used for development of phytopharmaceutical products. Uh, today, I am very pleased to share my research experience on this topic. Now today, uh, you know that many herbal products or herbal medicine are very popular in the market or in worldwide. But uh, most of them still use the herbal extract, only a uh, small amount of the product or some of our item can use a uh, natural pure compound. Why don't we do not use the, the, the pure compound? This is the problem from the price and the yield of the pure compound. If you are working on phytochemistry, you will know that when we purify the compound from the herbal extract, we use many steps for purification. And when you use several steps for purification, what you will get? First, you will get the low yield of the pure compound because it, uh, some compound may, will be lost from several steps of purification. And in uh, the same, in the opposite way, the time and cost of production will be increased because uh, if you use several steps, you will need uh, for a long period for purification and also uh, increase the step, you increase the cost of production. This is the major problem because if you would like to uh, develop the product for commercialization, the first thing that you have to think is the yield of the compound that you would like to use for formulation. If you can get only small amounts, if not enough for product development in the large scale or in the uh, industrial scale. And also if the cost of production is very high, so your product will be very expensive. So in conclusion, why we do we cannot use the pure natural compound if we cannot have the total chemical synthesis of the pure compound. Because the major problem is the product will be very expensive because the, the, the price of the pure compound is really uh, high. Uh, I will show you some example of uh, the price of the pure compound. For example, alpha mangosteen from Cassinia mangostana or mangosteen. 
only 20 milligram is cost about 100 US dollar. Or acetylcholine from uh, Centella Acetica, only five milligram is cost uh, almost 100 US dollar as well. So this is the, the price in the scale of milligram. But for application in the industrial or for commercialization, you need the, the active compound in the scale of kilogram. So uh, it's very difficult to produce the pure compound in large amount if you do not have uh, the method for chemical synthesis. So it really uh, is like a bottleneck of the development for herbal medicine from the pure compound. And also some pure compound, for example, linacantin C from linacantus nasutus uh, that have antifungal or antimicrobial activity. Uh, now they, it is not commercially available. So if you would like to use this compound, you have to purify yourself. And when you purify this compound, you will get very small yield and also the price will be expensive. So how to uh, develop herbal products or phyto uh, medicine? We have to we have to use the cool extract or the, the, the extract from, from the medicinal plant. When you use the good extract, it may have uh, this advantage and also have advantage. But I would like to mention about the advantage of using the good extract. The first is uh, the, uh, the process. The first advantage is the process of uh, population, very simple. You just use the pan powder, uh, extract can be the, the suitable solvent, maybe by insulation or by, or by defrost or sublet. Only one step, you can get the large amount of the good extract. So the process for extraction is very simple. And uh, the cost of production will be low because you do not use several steps for population. And Sometimes the good extract of the plant will have several biological activity because it contains a variety of the compound in the good extract. And sometimes they have synergistic effect because the, with, with, you may see that some, sometimes you use the good extract and it has higher uh, pharmacological activity than when you use a, a single compound. This means uh, some compound in the extract uh, make the synergistic effect. So this is the advantage of the good herbal extract. But it also has this advantage as well. For example, unsatisfied appearance, especially when you would like to use it for topical those form, or you would like to apply it as the uh, cosmetic product. You will see that the most of the extract have dark or dark green or dark brown color. So when you apply to the skin, it will not make the the cost, uh, customer satisfied because uh, most of people don't like the color on, the, on uh, their skin. And uh, most of the food extract have low stability because uh, you know that uh, most of the medicinal pan contain a phenolic compound. And phenolic compound usually uh, oxidized by the uh, temp high temperature or the, the air or the, 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 the uh, environmental condition. So uh, if some of the compound that had been decomposed 
it make the whole of the aircraft. Uh, it has effect to the whole stability of the, the aircraft. And uh, you uh, may know that the cool aircraft always have low efficacy because of uh, the low content of the active compound. When you use only a uh, good extract, or when you prepare the extract from one solvent, especially ethanol or alcohol, you you uh, the extract you contain variety of the compound, and sometimes the the active compound will be diluted from the other compound that may that may interfere the if uh, the effect of pharmacological activity of the active compound. So uh, when you use the good extract, it has more uh, more convenient for apply to the industrial scale, but uh, you may uh, find that you may uh, find that the the dose of the, the the, the extract that you have to put in the formulation it will be very high because uh, the extract contain a uh, low content of the active compound. So how you can make the herbal extract that contain higher uh, con content of the active compound. Today I would like to introduce the preparation of the active constraint leach extract. Uh, not only prepare it means that not only prepare it in the form of the crude extract, but also the extract that you get should have high content of the active compound. So we call active constraint and leach extract. How to prepare the active constraint leach extract? From my experience, I usually use two steps. The first step is uh, for extraction. This is the important step because if you would like to get the high content of the active compound, you will have to search for the suitable solvent for extraction and also the suitable method for extraction. Uh, for the solvent, it is a general rule for the extraction. We usually uh, use the light dissolved light glue. It means that if you would like to extract the polar compound, you should use so, uh, polar solvent for extraction because the polar compound will be dissolved uh, in high amount, very, 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 uh, very easy to dissolve in a polar compound. Or in contrast, if you would like to extract non-polar compound, you should use the non-polar solvent. This is the general rule for extraction. So the first thing that you have to, to uh, know or uh, consider is what is the active compound that you would like to extract. If you do not know the active compound, it will be very difficult to decide the suitable solvent. So first, you have to know what you would like to extract, what kind of the compound. There are several groups of the compound. For example, glycoside. Glycoside is the polar compound. So if you would like to extract the uh, polar compound like glycoside, you may use water or ethanol. But if you would like to extract, uh, for example, triterpene, in the form of a kaikoum, you should use the non-polar compound. And the, the second uh, criteria for selection of the extraction method is the method for extraction. The method for extraction now uh, they, they, we can use both a conventional method and the new method. For conventional method, for example, maceration and uh, leaf rust. Maceration, uh, it means no need to use heat for extraction. Uh, 
Lifa, you you uh, you use the you would like to use the heat to accelerate the extraction of the compound. So between the two methods, it depends on the uh, property of your compound. It can be dissolved more when you use heat or not, or it may be decomposed in the when in the high temperature or not. This is the criteria for the selection. Or if you would like to save the the solvent for extraction, you may use the heat accelerated extraction method, for example, EFA or uh, socket apparatus. But if you uh, would like to save the energy, you may use the maceration method. It also depends on the instrument you have. If you use a uh, maceration, no need to use the specific instrument. But if you use LIFA or socket, you have to have the specific instrument for, for that method. And now today we have the trend in clean extraction. Clean extraction is mean the, the method for extraction that can save energy and also save the time for extraction. So if uh, environmental leaf fail, fail lead to, 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 to not only to the environmental, but also uh, fail lead to the people. people. So uh, now they, I usually use microwave for extraction because microwave extraction, we know that it's safe for the energy use very uh, small energy and also shorten the time for extraction because for microwave extraction, the heat for microwave, uh, it, it is not the heat, uh, how to say, the microwave uh, uh, radiation is not produced the heat directly. The heat, it comes from uh, vibration or rotation of the polar molecule in the solvent or in the cell, plant cell. So when it exposed to the, the uh, microwave radi uh, radiation, uh, inside the cell, it contains polar compound that can vibrate and rotate, and it will generate the heat. If the, the inside the cell can generate the heat inside, so the the cell will be uh, easier for blocking and the compound will be released. That's why the, this method can shorten the time and give the good uh, quality of the aircraft because uh, the compound also equal to the heat in the short time, so it's more stable. Uh, actually, I also give a lecture on uh, clean extraction method using microwave, but in the uh, future, if I have a chance, I will share you in the detail. Uh, come to the our topic, preparation of the active constraint leach extract. And I tell you the, that the first step, the first important step is extraction, met extraction method. And the uh, key consideration is solvent and the method. And then if you do extraction and the uh, extract you get is still uh, contain low amount of the active compound, then you need another step. Uh, I usually do the, a simple one step fractionation for, for produce the active constant leach extract. Please keep in mind that all is simple and one step. Because if you use solo step or the, 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 the method for fractionation is too complex. So it, your, your compound may be lost and also uh, the cost of production will be higher. And the key consideration is the mode of separation that you would you use and also uh, the type of chromatographic material that you use. There are several methods for 
for fractionation, for example, liquid liquid extraction or partition or several chromatographic technique. And uh, for the chromatographic technique, you have to uh, select what kind of the mode of separation. It may be separated by uh, hydrophobic property or uh, ion action chromatography or the uh, absorption chromatography like silica gel. But the key important thing is you have to use the chromatographic technique that can uh, reduce the cost of production. How to reduce the cost of production? For example, uh, the, the chromatographic material, if it can be reused, then you can use several times, the cost of production uh, will be reduced. But if you use the chromatographic material that can use only one time, for example, silica gel, you, you cannot reuse it again, then the cost of production will be higher if you use uh, silica gel. And the second is you have to think about the so when that you use for fractionation, some uh, chromatographic material, uh, you can use only water and ethanol. If you use that kind of chromatographic material, then your process will be clean because uh, you use only clean solvent, for example, water and ethanol only. But if you use silica gel, so you have to use uh, organic solvent that may be uh, dangerous, for example, chloroform, hexane, etyl state. So in, in, in the fractionation method, I would like to uh, conclude that the method should be simple and use only one step to get the uh, high yield of the, 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 the fraction. And also the mode of separation uh, should be, uh, should be uh, not expensive. And also uh, to, if you can use only cream, so when it will be better. So uh, I will give you uh, an example of preparation of linacantin C enriched extract. Linacantin enriched extract we prepare from linacanthus nasutus. This is the medicinal plant in uh, family Acanthaceae. Uh, this uh, we use for the the the, the leaf. We use for treatment of dermatomycosis for antifungal infection, especially for topical antifungal infect infection. And also some countries use at the infusion for anti-diabetic. The major active compound is belong to naptoquinone group. This is the structure of naptoquinone. And the major one is the, 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 the active compound in, in, in linacanthus nasutus leaf with the, the name is linacanthin. Linacanthin is the ester of the uh, naptoquinone. For this, if the subtil by this functional group, we call linacanthin C. Linacanthin C is the major active naptoquinone compound in linacanthus nasutus leaf. So uh, when you use the, the, the pan, uh, recently we, in Thailand, we have the antifungal topical ginger that made from the leaf extract. And why we use the leaf extract? Because the leaf extract contain high content of the active compound linacantin. When we determine the total linacantin in the leaf, the stem and root, we found that the leaf and root contain higher content than in the stem. But uh, we usually use the leaf because it's more easier to harvest uh, or collect. If we use the root, you have to destroy the, the, the pan and you, you have to go it again. 
so it's more easier to use the leaf. But uh, some sometimes the the raw material in the market it contain both leaves and roots. Oh no, leaf and stem. So you will see that if the the raw material contain more amount of stem, the active compound will be diluted. So when you buy the the plant material, you have to know that what parts of the plant that you should use or uh, you should buy from the market. If the, the, the material is a mixture of leaf and stem, it means that the quality of the, the extract will be reduced. And not only the part of the plant that affect to the quality of the, the plant extract. In this case, we uh, have searched for the effect of the period of harvesting. We uh, harvest the leaf and the root in different period every three months and determine the total line that can be contained. You will see that in different period of harvesting, the content of the active compound will be vary both leaf and root. So if you do not do standardization of the extract, you will see that the if you use the leaf that harvest in January, the content of the active compound will be low when compared to, to the leaf that harvest that in July. The the leaf will contain higher content of the active compound. It means that if you use the product that produced by this raw material, you will get the low quality of the product when compared to the other. So when you would like to develop the uh, phytomedicine or herbal product, you have to think about the quality or the content of the active compound of the extract. And it means that you have to standardize the extract and then you will get the, the product uh, in the same quality, not very from best to best. So in this case, we established the HPLC method for quantitative analysis of linear canteen. Uh, there are three major linacantin in the leaf extract, including linacantin C in the major, linacantin D and linacantin N. We established the HPLC condition that can simultaneous, uh, simultaneously determine three, three of these compounds in the same in the injection. And we already do method validation and published in the Journal of Chromatographic Science. And if you have the quantitative analysis, it means that you can do more research. For example, we use HPLC for uh, monitor the content of the active compound in the, in the extract for research on the Population of linacantin leach extract. For population of linacantin leach extract, the first step is extraction. We determine the solvent that's suitable for extraction of linacantin from the leaf of linacantus nasitus, and we vary the polarity of the solvent from most polar to most non polar. And from the structure of linacantin, you, you know that it's in the naptoquinone ester. And the polarity of the, the, the compound we classify as the nonpolar compound. But uh, we do not know how nonpolar of the compound, then we have to vary the polarity of the solvent for extraction. And from the research, we found that Etchua state is the most suitable for extraction of linacantin from the leaf. And you will see that uh, from the yield of the extract, methanol, methanol gave 
highest yield of the exact. It means that uh, highest amount of the exact. But the content of the active compound is very low. When compared to active state, you will get the lower yield of the exact. But the content of the active compound is the highest. Because of the selectivity of the solvent for extraction, if you use alcohol, ethanol, or methanol, it can extract all the compound more than the active compound. So you will get the amount of the, 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 the extract higher, but lower content of the active compound. But if you use ethyl state, it's selective to extract uh, the natural quinone ester from the leaves of Rhinacanthus nasutus, then the yield of the active, the yield of the extract will be low, but the content of the active compound will be high. So this is the, uh, the, an example of, uh, if you select the suitable solvent for extraction, then you will get the high quality of the extract or it may be active compound leach extract. But for 30% change, if not enough, we need more. So we, uh, sub the, the, the extract have been subjected to further fractionation. On uh, this slide, I will show you uh, each compound, uh, each uh, of linacantin compound in the extract in the ethyl state extract. Linacantin C is the major. Linacantin D and linacantin N is the minor. This, we, this table, uh, we do large scale extraction and we found that the total linacantin is about 37% uh, taste. And uh, the structure of each compound, linacantin C, D, and N, you will see that uh, is it the ether of naphthoquinone. So the polarity is a bit non-polar, but it also has some uh, polar group, for example, hydroxyl group or uh, keto group. So it uh, also has mix between polar and non-polar. So the etchial state, etchial state is the most suitable for extraction of the compound. But now the etyl state we cannot use for application in the in the in the uh, herbal product because Thai FDA not allowed to use uh, toxic organic solvent in in the preparation of the the extract. And I think uh, most uh, country also not allowed to use the organic solvent in the population of the herbal exact as well. So in, in the next uh, example, I will show you how to modify, to use uh, clean technology for population of the nacantin leach exact. But in, in, in that time, uh, this work uh, we do, we perform in, we, we did in the, year 2009. So in that time, we do not use a clean, clean technology. For the second step, we use fractionation. As I told you that about 33% is not enough for us. We need to make it more high content of the active compound. So the next step, uh, we use embolite IRA 76 column. This is the anionic chain resin. From the structure, you will see that the naphthopinone compound is anion. So it produces anion here. So if we use anionic chain resin, when you load the column that this so in methanol, the compound, the active compound will be the chain in the column you will see the dark red color on the top of the column. The compound, our compound will uh, bind with the resin 
and the neutral or the cation compound will be eluted first. So you will see that after we wash the column with methanol, we can wash the clean color from the column and the compound natophenol still binding in the column. After that, we use a more strong anion. So when, for example, 10% acetic acid in methanol uh, for elution of our compound, the yellow color will be eluted. And after we concentrate with uh, rotary evaporation, then we get linacantin rich extract. And based on HPLC analysis, uh, compared with the ethanol, uh, ethyl state extract, linacantin rich extract uh, contain uh, almost double of the content of linacantin, double content of the linacantin from 37, we increase to 77. So from uh, this method, we successfully, is successfully to prepare linacantin rich extract that can increase the content of linacantin from 37 to 77. And we also determine the antifungal activity of linacantin rich extract compared with the food extract and also compared with the pure compound. In this table, we, I show the antifungal activity of the leach extract, when I get the leach extract compared with the pure compound and also the good ethyl state extract, you will see that the activity is higher than the good extract. The content is high, uh, it two times higher than, than the ethyl state extract, but the activity is more higher higher than two times. So uh, you will see that when we prepare active concentrated leach extract, you will can improve the antifungal activity of linacantin leach extract. And when we compare with the pure compound, the uh, linacantin leach extract give gave the, the the same antifungal activity when compared with linacantin C, the major active compound. And it, the activity is better than linacantin D and linacantin A. This is the, the hypothesis. My, it, 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 uh, it is my hypothesis that if we prepare in the form of linacantin leach extract, it will give, it should, we should get the same activity when compared with the pure compound that we use at the market. So if it can give the same activity at the pure compound, it means that we have success for preparation of the active concentrated leach extract. Because uh, when we prepare linacantin leach extract, we get more yield of the extract. And the cost of production, it will be lower. So if we use linacantin C for modif uh, develop of the product, it, it, uh, it's almost impossible because the price of the product will be very high. But we'll, if we use linacantin leach extract that have the same activity as the pure compound, it may be we can apply because we can get higher amount of like, uh, the, the active compound and also the, the, the cost of production will be much lower than like I can see. And we also uh, determine the antibacterial activity because like I can see also have antibacterial activity against the many kind of bacteria. And we also found that like I can see leach extract also give almost the same antibacterial activity when compared to linacantin C. And after that, we develop the, the, the formulation, which is the topical formulation for antifungal. 
uh, we search for the alternative green solvent. As I told you that at to a state is uh, not allowed to use for product development. So we have to find uh, an alternative green solvent. In this case, we use the core solvent in the lotion formula and use it as the green solvent for extraction. And we use uh, microwave for extraction. Uh, we have to optimize the condition for microwave extraction, for example, optimize the power, power, electric power, the time for extraction, and also the temperature for extraction, optimize the powder to solvent ratio. Because if we do the, the whole solvent in the lotion formula, we cannot do evaporation because most of uh, that whole solvent that we use, it, uh, the boiling point is very high, so we cannot we cannot uh, do evaporation, but it will be the advantage of using this because we can use it directly for formulation. For example, if you, you use uh, propylene glycon or glycerin, so if you use in the lotion formula, you no need to add it more. You can use the extract that also contain glycerin or propylene glycon and also can uh, directly uh, add it in the formulation. But you have to optimize powder to solvent ratio to get the higher content of the active compound. So after we optimize the, the extraction conditions, we can get the most suitable condition that can uh, give the content of linacantin C up to four milligram per milliliter that enough for using this extract for further formulation. And we formulate it at the topical solution for treatment of uh, skin fungal infection. And uh, we do the evaluation of antifungal activity of this uh, formulation and test the stability of the formulation and apply to the patent in Thailand. Now we have uh, in the form of solution in the spray, then you can use it topically. And the one, another, uh, one of advantage is you will see that the extract do not contain chlorophyll. Our uh, solvent do not extract chlorophyll from the leaf. If you use ethanol, do extraction uh, from the leaves, you will get a lot of chlorophyll. And when you formulate the, the, the topical formulation, it will be not because most people don't like a green color on uh, their skin. So if you use this green so when the extract you have a brown color and when you do formulate, the color will be similar to the uh, skin and it will be more uh, preferable from get more people from the, the other people. Uh, we uh, took this innovation to the competition in high tech. 2016 in Malaysia, this is the Innovation uh, Expo in Malaysia, and we got two innovation awards. The first is gold medal award from uh, ITEC 2016, and the second is the special prize from uh, Taiwan. And this uh, will, uh, we will get the, the how to say, the guarantee from international uh, competition that if you uh, innovation get the award from the international level, then uh, you can uh, apply more easier in for commercialization when you get the award. And after that, uh, as I told you that uh, for the the population of Latin 
see this actor at the first time we do nothing about the clean technology for population and uh, then we uh, start to think about the clean extraction we start to use microwave for extraction and then also the in the fractionation method we we still we we still do an only chain for for fractionation but uh, we change the, the solvent for the extraction we use ethanol for extraction you you, uh, you remember that if we use ethanol for extraction the content of lignocantin uh, will be lower than ethyl spread but if we would like to make our process at the clean technology then we can use only water or ethanol but for the compound it not be so in water then we select ethanol for extraction after extraction it can be directly load into the column no need to do so many evaporation and uh, the the solvent that we use for illusion uh, before this we use methanol but in this case we will change from methanol to ethanol because it's more safe safer than than methanol and after do so when you evaporate after you with uh, 10 percent acetic acid in ethanol then we collect the naphthoquinone fraction and then do so when you have pressure and we will get uh rich action for example one column we can prepare about 10 gram of lignocantin rich extract but if you prepare lignocantin c pure compound for one column and many steps you will get in uh, the level of milligram only that is very hard to apply for uh, industrial scale for this effect, uh, uh, I compare the crude ethanol extract, the content of active compound in crude ethanol extract compared with uh, lignocantin leach extract. You will see that the uh, content of total lignocantin start from 8 in crude ethanol extract and increase to 73, it, it is still higher at the previous method that we use ethyl state. Even we use ethanol, when we use ethyl state, it starts from about 37. And after uh, fractionation, we get 77. But in this case, we start from 8 and we get 73. So uh, the U uh, is really uh, the content of the active compound very high and we get several percent from the uh, when when calculate uh when add percentage with by weight from the based on the plant powder after that we use this extract to determine the active diabetic activity uh, compared with uh, is marker compound and you can see C, E, and N. We use uh, two models. The first is inhibition of alpha glucosidase enzyme, the key enzyme uh, for uh, blood glucose lowering. And also the model, uh, the cell based model in adipocyte and uh, muscle cell uh, to increase the glucose uptake assay. Uh, use glucose uptake assay to see that our compound or our extract can increase the glucose uptake in the adipocyte or muscle cell or not. Uh, from the first assay for alpha glucosidate inhibitory activity, you will see that uh, lignocantin leach extract give almost the same activity with the almost the same IC50 value if it's not significantly different. So uh, I would like to mention here that we can use linacantin leach extract instead of linacantin C because it gives the same alpha glucosidate initially activity and both of them uh, show 
uh, more potent than the modern duck that we use now today, Akabos. Akabos have the mechanism for reduce much sugar by inhibit alpha glucosidase inhibit uh, alpha glucosidase activity. And for the cell bed assay, first we have tried three uh, concentration of the tested compound for the to see if it has toxicity to the cell or not. For three different uh, concentration, we found that all of the tested compound, including lenacantin leach extract, lenacantin C, lenacantin D, and lenacantin, lenacantin N, uh, do not have toxicity to the cell. It keeps uh, higher than 90% of cell viability for RT concentration. And for increased glucose uptake in the master cell, compared with the positive control, uh, metformin and insulin. Metformin and insulin uh, uh, can increase the percent glucose uptake to almost 90 percent. When we see lenacantin leach extract, the higher concentration at 2.5 microgram per milliliter, it also gives almost the same as uh, metformin and insulin and also lenacantin C. Lenacantin C gives the same activity when compared to the positive control, but uh, for lenacantin leach extract, it's a bit lower than uh, both lenacantin C and the positive control. But uh, you will see that the activity is better than lenacantin N and lenacantin D. And for the adipocyte cell, it's also not toxic. When we use uh, at uh, three different concentrations from five to 20 microgram per mil. And for the glucose uptake uh, stimulation in the adipocyte cell, uh, when compared with the first control insulin, we found that lenacantin uh, that I can delish uh, have the same activity when compared with linacantin C and linacantin N, and a bit lower than linacantin uh, insulin positive control. So for this, we con I would like to conclude that uh, linacantin leach and leach extract is a uh, uh, potential extract that we can use for uh, herbal product development and it gives the activity equivalent to linacantin C including antifungal, antibacterial activity and anti-diabetic activity and uh, we can use linacantin leach extract for duct development because it's uh, low cost production and we can prepare it in a higher yield so this is the uh, one example from linacantin leach extract. I have another example from the curcuminoid and leach extract. In this case, we use only a clean technology for calculation. For the uh, Cocuminoid, we usually know that uh, it, the, the cocuminoid compound we can obtain from turmeric powder. Turmeric is a uh, curcuma longa. Uh, this plant contains three major cocuminoids, including curcumin, demetoxic curcumin, and this demetoxic curcumin. Uh, the cocuminoid compound now they it had been used for several purposes in pharmaceutical industry because it has a valued pharmacological activity, for example, anti alzheimer uh, hepatoprotective, uh, anti arteriopolysis anti-cancer, anti-inflammation, and antioxidant. And not only this, 
It also has uh, another other pharmacological activity. That's why curcuminoid now they are in the in 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 the uh, interest of many pharmaceutical company. And most of the product now they they use the extract in uh, in different uh, type. There are three different type of the extract of curcumin uh, of, of curcuminoid in, in the market. The first one is ethanol extract. For the ethanol extract or the food extract, uh, this extract contain low content of the curcuminoid and also contain high content of oleoresin and non-volatile oil. And the smell of the, the extract is very pungent. So some people don't like to, to take it. And the second type is standard dye extract or curcuminoid leach extract. Uh, this uh, type of the extract contain higher content of the curcuminoid contents, but the method for preparation still use conventional extraction method and still use toxic solvent for preparation. And the last one is the pure curcumin. When you buy the pure curcumin, you think that it should be pure, but in fact, it's not pure. It still contains uh, three major curcuminoids. When you check with TLC, it will contain curcumin, demetoxic curcumin, and B-demetoxic curcumin. But the curcumin content will be uh, the highest. Uh, this kind of the uh, extract still require many steps for purification and uh, the cost of production will higher and also uh, use toxic organic solvent. So overall, in uh, the curcuminoid extract in the market still have this advantage in the term of the toxic, the use of toxic solvent and also the cost of production. So uh, we try to develop the extraction method using microwave and the clean extraction method because uh, microwave use low energy, short time and keep high quality of the extract. And after uh, we start to do the research for clean extraction method, we uh, but we, we have to search for the clean solvent for extraction. We vary the solvent for extraction using the clean solvent and compare the contents of the curcuminoid in the extract compared with the uh, ethanol. And we found that ethanol still uh, produce high content, higher content when compared with the other. Then finally we make the decision that we have to do extraction with ethanol, but how we can increase the content of the curcuminoid in the food ethanol extract. So uh, we have to use the extraction method coupled with the fractionation method. In the first step, we use clean extraction using the microwave. For extraction, this is our microwave that can uh, do extraction for uh, 40 liter in, in, in this instrument. And we have the monitor for electricity use to check that how, uh, how expensive of the electricity that we use. For this scale for 40 liter, uh, and we do extraction for half an hour. And the electricity use only two units. It means about 10 baht for, for electricity. You will see that it's very cheap. And after we get the extract, after filtration, we do the fractionation using the hydrophobic column. For the uh, fractionation method, we make the uh, uh, decision to use hydrophobic column because of the property of curcuminoid from the 
uh, property of the communal is a hydrophobic compound. Then we uh, select the hydrophobic column using dion SP20 for fractionation. The extract can be directly uh, loaded into the column and we do elution with uh, ethanol and water. We have to optimize the concentration of ethanol and water and then we will get the cocuminoid leach extract. After do evaporation, you will get the powder of the cocuminoid and leach extract. From the SPLC analysis, we found that if we do ethanol extraction, we get the food extraction. You will see that the food extract still like uh, oily, oily, it did not powder and really it had really strong smell. Then after we uh, do the fractionation method, we can get curcuminoid leach extract that contain almost 90% of the curcuminoid content. And now it's, it, it, the appellant the will be powder and the smell, the function smell is uh, much decreased. This is the HLC chromatogram of curcumin, demetoxic curcumin, and this demetoxic curcumin. And for using, using of the curcuminoid for uh, herbal product development, we still have the major problem because curcuminoid is not dissolved in water. So when we take it orally, it will have low bioavailability because the low because of low absorption. So we have to increase the solubility of curcuminoid in water. We uh, select the method for preparation of ternary complex to increase the water solubility of curcuminoid. What is the ternary complex? First, we have to uh, make the binary complex with beta cyclodextin. Uh, when curcuminoid form complex with beta cyclodextin, it will increase, it will in the form of inclusion complex. And beta cyclodextin can increase water solubility of uh, curcuminoid. And after that, when we, after we get the binary complex, we do further solid dispersion with PVPK30. And in this method, we can increase more water solubility of curcuminoid. Uh, this uh, diagram show the the method that we prepare ternary complex of curcuminoid. It's very simple method. For the beta cyclodextin, we use hydroxypropyl beta cyclodextin and mix first we mix with the uh, uh, extract in the form of solution. After we elute, we prepare the extract by elution from the column, we will get the, the extract in the form of solution. And after we mix with the uh, hydroxypropyl beta cyclodextin and stir, and the next step we add PBVK30 for solid dispersion. And after evaporation, we will get uh, Cocuminoid leach extract, totally complex. This we call so when evaporation method. So in conclusion, we can uh, overcome the problem of uh, insolubility of cocuminoid leach extract in water by uh, make it in the form of CRE totally complex. And now it contain from uh, CIE contain 88% curcuminoid and in the uh, curcuminoid leach extract complex it contain 14% of curcuminoid and this can dissolve well in water and the solubility for ternary complex it increased from insoluble to 70 microgram per mil when compared with the previous report method for solid dispersion. Solid dispersion increased only to 28 microgram per mil. So our method can increase more water soluble. 
uh, water solubility of curcuminoid. So from this innovation, we apply for one patent and one petty patent. For the first patent, we apply for the curcuminoid leach extract, the method for uh, curcuminoid leach extract as shown in the uh, clean background. This is the method for preparation of curcuminoid leach extract. And for the blue background, we got uh, one petty patent for uh, preparation of CRE generally compact that increase water solubility of curcuminoid. And we also test for the activity of anti uh, cancer activity of curcuminoid leach extract when compared to its marker, uh, curcumin demetoxy curcumin and B demetoxy curcumin, and also with the good extract. You will see that the curcuminoid leach extract gave almost the same anti uh, cancer activity again uh, for cell line cancer. And when we increase the water solubility in the form of CIA complex, it also have uh, more potent anti-cancer activity against the three cell line, including lung cancer, colon cancer, and HILA. After we uh, got the 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 Process for preparation of uh, the ternary compact. We formulate or develop the product in the form of effervescent tablet. We call high sulfur curcuminoid effervescent tablets. Uh, this can be applied for the functional food, and when we prepare in the form of effervescent tablet, we uh, can make it uh, clearly soluble and also reduce the, the uh, pumpkin smell using the uh, carbon dioxide from effervescent tablet. And if we call also apply for the pH of the formulation of uh, curcuminoid effervescent tablet. And this innovation we uh, brought to the 13 Taipei International Invention Show and Technoma. Uh, in, in, in Taiwan, and we got a gold medal award from the innovation. And uh, in the picture, you will see this is the, from the CEO from one company from Taiwan that uh, is interested in our product, and they would like to be the uh, distributor in their country. And after that, we uh, also use the ternary compact for formulation of the new formula and the uh, uh, water-soluble curcuminoid effervescent granule. This is in the powder form, and uh, we make it more easy to drink, and we apply for the petrified patent. And this we, last year, we got uh, two awards from uh, so international invention show in Korea, uh, one is the gold medal award and second one is the special award from Taiwan. Uh, come to the end of my lecture, I would like to conclude that uh, if you would like to develop the, the herbal product for commercialization, uh, the major concern is quality control. You have to establish the uh, standardization method, and then you can control the product that uh, have the consistency of the quality, not very from batch to batch. And this is very important because uh, most people would like to use the same quality of the product if you do not uh, control the quality of the product uh, when you use the different batch from the herbal extract, you will get the different quality from from uh, the extract, and then uh, you will see that 
some of the the product, some batch of the product can can relieve the the, the disease, but some cannot. And uh, I would like to introduce a kind of exam in the form of active constraint leach exam because it can increase the efficacy and it also can reduce the cost of production when you compare with the pure compound and also clean extraction method. It is very practical uh, for apply in for commercialization because it, uh, uh, it is a low cost production, high quality, high quality extract, and it also safety for human being and environmental. Thank you very much for your attention. So, are there any questions from the audience? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are a few questions. So, let me ask the first question. This is this is from Dr. Raja from Chennai. Dr. Parkum? Yes. The first question is, what is the mechanistic effect of rhinocanthin? What is the mechanism, mechanistic effect of rhinocanthin? Mechanism of what? I cannot hear. I have, I have forwarded that uh, question to your uh, uh, Facebook messenger. Can you look into it? The Facebook? Yeah, yeah, in your mobile, in your mobile, yeah. you, can, you can see. What the question is? What is, what is the mechanistic effect of rhinocanthine? Diabetic. Uh, the mechanism for anti-diabetic, right? Yes, yes, yes. Is it, uh, we already tested for two mechanisms. The first one is uh, alpha glucosidase inhibitor activity, and the second one is increase the glucose uptake in the in the uh, muscle cell and adipose cell. So now we we know two mechanisms. Of anti diabetic. Okay. To uh, inhibit, the, when the compound inhibit alpha glucosidase, so it will be reduced by sugar. And also, when it increase the glucose uptake, uh, the glucose will be reduced and it will be uptake into the muscle cell and adipocyte cell. Okay. So the second question is by Dr. Saujanya. Her question is. What is the major use of preparing curcumin into effervescent granules? The major use of curcuminoid? In as effervescent granules. For effervescent granules. And the effervescent granule. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, our purpose is for the use at uh, dietary supplement. Dietary supplement. So you can drink as you need. If you would like to use any soft drink, then you can drink this. So it have the useful for your health because uh, curcuminoid have so low pharmacological activity. Nowadays in Japan, uh, they prepare uh, curcuminoid in, in the form of solution and a short drink. It, uh, they said that it they use for burn enrichment. And it is a play with the pharmacological activity of the curcuminoid that uh, it has anti alzheimer activity. And in our group, we also work on the uh, prevention of osteoporosis. And it has good activity to uh, prevention of your bone for, from osteoporosis. And in the general pharmacological activity, it has antioxidant activity that can, can uh, prevention of 
many chronic diseases, including uh, anti uh, cancer disease, diabetes, or uh, other from the antioxidant mechanism. So now we propose it as the dietary supplement. Sir, the next question is how to overcome low stability and uh, low efficiency problems in herbal extracts? How to, how to overcome? How to overcome the low stability? stability? Yeah. yeah. Now they we use uh, encapsulation. Okay. Encapsulation method can increase the, the stability of the, the herbal extract. And also in the formulation, you uh, we can use the antioxidant uh, antioxidizing agent in the formulation to prevention of the decomposition. So the, the next question is always fractionated extract produce more pronounced effect. Can be. Always fractionated extracts produce pronounced biological effect when compared with isolated compounds. What is the purpose of isolation? What is the purpose of isolation? What is the purpose of fractionation? If, if fractionated extracts can produce more biological effect than isolated compounds. Yeah, we, 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 uh, the purpose of fractionation, as I told you, that we would like to increase the, the contents of the active compounds in the extract. Okay. We do not want to lose the yield. So you, we have to select the suitable method that can, uh, as I told you, that we should use only one, a simple one step fractionation. The purpose is to increase the, the content or the concentration of the active compound. Yeah. Okay. And, and the hypothesis is when we increase the content of the active compound, the pharmacological activity, activity will be increased as well. Sir, uh, the next one is not a question. It's actually an appreciation from our uh, Participant. Hello. 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 What? Sir, this is this is not a question. This is an appreciation. Ah, thank you. A part is a participant has gone through your published data. One my published data. She has gone through your published data. Yes. And how to? Sir, you are able to you are able to hear me. The, uh, the participant need my published data. No, 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 no. The participant mm -hmm. is appreciating your published work. The participant gone through your published data. Read, read your your published data. Read my public chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what happened? And the participant read my public data. Yeah. And please, one second, please. Yeah. I cannot understand. Yeah, wait, wait a minute, sir. Wait a minute. I'm adding Shohel. I'm adding Shohel. Nothing. Yes, oh, okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. The other questions will be posted uh, uh, lately. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. Wow. Yes, sir. there are many, many questions from the audience side. It will be posted to you later. Okay. We thank you very much for uh, your uh, valuable presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir.
बाय बाय थैंक यू थैंक यू